Hello, this is David Allen, and you are watching Sporting Icons. So, just getting a chance to do a video on this one now. As most people know, that to when you're married and you have kids, life gets in the way, right? Anyway, uh, Frank Warren brought boxing back to the Royal Albert Hall, and it was a very, very good card. So, big up to uh, Frank Warren for that one. Some great victories on there. Um, Liam Williams went into beast mode over Joe Mullinder. Johnny Garton um, unfortunately lost to Chris Jenkins. Well, I say unfortunate. I mean, Chris Jenkins did very, very well, of course. Anthony Yard did pretty much what we expected him to do, uh, but again, looked pretty good. Very, very impressed with his left hook. Very, very impressed with uh, Anthony Yard. But the fight that um, I really want to talk about as well, oh, and of course, big up to Harvey Horn as well, um, and everyone else who won the card. But it, listen, overall, the card was very, very good. So big up Frank Warren for that one. Now, the fight that I really want to talk about is Daniel Dubois versus Razvan Kajanu. Now, Razvan Kajanu, prior to this fight, had lost three fights on the bounce. But one of them was a world title shot against Joseph Parker. He was a last-minute substitute or last-minute replacement even for Joseph Parker and Kajanu then fought um, Luis Ortiz on Luis Ortiz's bounce back after his loss to Wilder. Then he took on um, Nathan Gorman, went the distance with him. So in his last three fights prior to this one, he went the distance twice. He went the distance with Nathan Gorman and Joseph Parker. And... This one was supposed to be a little bit of a test for Daniel Dubois. First round, a bit of a feeler out, but that's how most fights go anyway. The first round is a bit of a feeler, kind of test your range, all that kind of thing. And that's what pretty much um, Daniel Dubois was doing. But Razvan Kajanu came up to fight. He came up to put it on Daniel Dubois. So we have to give it up to him on this one. But it only went two rounds because Daniel Dubois... Boy, did he let his hands go. And again, those left hooks were just nasty. And he hit Razvan Kajanu twice flush for Kajanu to go down and out. Listen, Kajanu made every effort to get up, but his legs just went. Now, of course, people are going to talk about, or I'm presuming that people are going to talk about some low blows in this fight from Daniel Dubois. Now, I'm not going to say that he did it intentionally, but for me, as much as I do like clean fights, I'm actually all right with some dirty tactics here and there. So if he did it on purpose, I don't have too much of an issue with it because what this shows me is that he's willing to do what it takes to win. And for a young man, that's exactly what you want. What you don't want is a laid back um, guy who just does the rules and because eventually someone's going to come in there and just bully you. And Daniel Dubois showed in this fight that he ain't going to be bullied. If anything, he's going to be the bully. So... Yeah, a couple of low blows. Listen, it's boxing. It happens. Accidental? Maybe. Maybe. But when he got Razvan Kajanu against the ropes, he just let his hands go. Um, the thing is with Daniel Dubois, though, that when he was letting his hands go, Razvan Kajanu did actually catch him flush with a couple of shots as well. And Daniel Dubois took him. So already he's shown a bit of metal to say that he's got a pretty decent chin in himself. But boy, is he heavy handed. He is really, really heavy-handed. So, comprehensive victory, excellent stoppage. So, big up to Daniel Dubois. Is he, what, 21, 22 years old? Looking the real deal. Now, of course, Frank Warren had already said that him versus Nathan Gorman, they're looking to do it at the end of the year. So, hopefully, they do. Um, Nathan Gorman does have a pretty decent test coming up next anyway. Uh, but Daniel Dubois, what's he going to do next? You know, he's taken on a couple of decent fights now. Uh, Dorian Darch, he's taken on Kevin Johnson, now Razvan Kajanu. Clearly, he's above a certain level. And some say maybe even ahead of schedule. Okay, so what kind of opponent is he likely to take on next? I would imagine probably a top 20, top 25, I would imagine. Um, so, yeah, I do expect a bit of a pickup for the next one. And there's no fear of him doing it. There really isn't. Now, him versus Nathan Gorman, how would it go? Well, again, styles make fights. That's the old adverb, right? That, that's how people talk about fights. You know, every fight is set. Okay, just because Nathan Gorman went the distance with Razvan Kajanu. Listen, he had very, very short notes for that fight anyway. But it doesn't mean that because Daniel Dubois took out Kajanu in only two rounds, that that's how it's going to be against Nathan Gorman. I mean, it could be. You never know. But... Nathan Gorman really, really fancies it against Daniel Dubois. 
And who will be the favourite in that fight? I have no idea. Now, Frank Warren is talking about making this one a headline. But either way, it's something to look forward to. Hopefully it happens, touch wood, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but I do feel that uh, Daniel Dubois looked real, real good. And I wasn't disappointed with his last fight. Um, I know a lot of people were saying how he went the distance with Kevin Johnson, who never really threw any punches. And I can certainly see the point. But I'm glad that he went the rounds. And I was kind of hoping he was going to get a few more rounds against Razvan Kajanu. So in some ways, I was a little disappointed that he dispatched him in only two rounds. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing him go five or six rounds with him. Okay. But ultimately, listen, fighters don't get paid for overtime. If you can get the win, get the win. And that's exactly what he'd done. As I said, very, very heavy-handed. Now, Daniel Dubois, he is the sparring partner or one of the sparring partners for Jaron Miller. So he's going to be going over to New York to do some training and sparring with uh, Jaron Miller to get him prepared for Anthony Joshua. And I would fully expect Daniel Dubois to get another fight pretty soon as well. Not on that card, but um, the, I would imagine he will be because at ringside you had like a David Hay and... All the pundits around there saying that fighters of his age at this stage should be fighting quite regularly and they don't feel that Daniel Dubois has been fighting regularly enough but Daniel Dubois has been getting flu quite a bit lately he has been getting injured quite a little bit as well so maybe that's kind of hampered him back a little bit but yeah certainly for a lad of his age he should be fighting every two or three months that is for sure so I would imagine that he'll be out round about um what, April May time I would imagine or hopefully anyway uh, maybe on the BJ Saunders on the card, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, good stuff, real good stuff for Daniel Dubois, looking real good. Anyway, if you guys see in the fight, obviously drop your thoughts below about it. For me, I enjoyed it. Anyway, drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, and of course subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.